What's up, guys? Today I am, uh, well, not today. I'm going to open it today. But a couple of days ago, I ventured into a new realm here. Um, I'm going to try a Type 3, a.k.a. Ferrochrome, a.k.a. F-E-C-R cassette tape. I'm not going to do it today, but I need to think about a good 60-minute long playlist that's worthy of testing this out to see what kind of recording it can actually make. Now, that being said, I paid a little over... Um, 50 cents a minute for said tape. It's 28 and then it was like freaking uh, four bucks for shipping. So yeah, she's uh, relatively pricey. Definitely not cheap by any means. And I just hope that um, it lives up to its name. Now these things are very expensive. I don't know why. I know they discontinued them probably in the early, late 70s, early 80s. Maybe that's why they're just rare. But as for what the sonic advantages are, I'm not really sure. Now this is already starting to peel off. I know people are going to be like, why are you opening it? Well, I didn't buy it to look at it and stare at it. So, let's see what all consists of it. And this Sony was the cheapest NOS Type 3 tape there was on the whole entire eBay site. So, these are not floating around for cheap. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately. I think that I think that price is outrageous, but it's one time. I'm gonna try it because it's the only way I'm gonna know. And I've been thinking about them a lot. Sony made in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety days. Little disclaimer. But it does look cool, though. It's shiny. There's some detail put into the, you know, label. Alright. So. It's heavy. It's old paper labels. I think this is probably late 70s. Very, very early 80s. If not. So got the old compact cassette logo. So this is literally a little bit over 50 cents per minute. I really wish I had an autofocus feature. So yeah, obviously you gotta put the tape deck in a position. Which is without the... Uh, so we can record it in normal. This reaper is a normal low noise and set the low noise position. Emphasize. Huh. Interesting. I would never turn down my trouble response though. That's what it's that's how I'm taking it. Turn the bass down every now and again. You guys read this. Pause it if you will, if you want. If you wish, I should say. I'm trying to get it to where you can actually see it without a damn glare. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? There you go. Frequency glass. That's pretty cool. Black and red, A index, B index. So for 60 minutes, you're not going to fit a whole lot of material in there. Look at that, even the detail in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can a little bit. It's got like a watermark right there. At least it looks like it. Either that or maybe that's just an indent from the print on the other side. I don't know, but either way, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I have a write some more information here if you run out. I don't think you will. But yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to put on it. I don't know what the best kind of music would, would uh, really, you know, gain any kind of sonic advantage by using this over a Type 1 or Type 2. I've never used a Type 4 before either. Now the other thing, speaking of which, the other thing I'm going to look at is up top. There's no 
so there's no FECR auto detects like CRO2 or type 2 tapes have a gap right here next to the recording tabs that way I can pick it up uh, metal cassettes have it in the middle I believe I believe two right in the middle if I remember correctly I don't have any right now but I have had them in the past uh, they were junk though all moldy unfortunately so I didn't bother putting them in my machine to test them out the techniques I was using at the time was an 80s rack system one. It did actually have metal tape capability. In fact, my childhood Fisher CR-W911 has metal capability too. Man, I still wish I had all the tapes I made on that when I was a kid. But yeah, like I said, nothing too, too fancy. Like I said, paper label. Right to the point of this, you know. So you would set your cassette deck to FECR mode before you make a recording on it, and of course, when you play said recording back. That being said, that's pretty much all she wrote for this. It's a nice looking tape, pretty heavy and robust. Probably not gonna be worth uh, over 50 cents a minute or $33 or whatever the hell it came out to, but hey, you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to the known. If the curiosity is bugging you that bad, you're going to bite the bullet and just do it. That's the only way you're going to know. Or the only way I'm going to know. So yeah. It's only 60 minutes. But I'm sure I can find 60 minutes worth of solid material to test this out to its max. I'm thinking maybe some like Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Um, I'm not a huge, huge, huge Pink Floyd guy. But maybe throw a Floyd song or two on here. Uh, Kansas is always a good band. You know, for Fidelity. For testing a sound system. I think I said Emerson, Lake, and Palmer already. Yeah, I think I did. Anyway, that being said, guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll let you know uh, how this all worked out in the end as soon as I have results. Till then, catch you next time.